Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are talking about Chantal, Chantal Marie, The Daily Chantal, The Chantal Show, Chantopolis, Foodie Dookie, Floppy Bobby, Big Beautiful Bee, uh, ooh, ooh, Chantal Period, Chantal Al Rafe, The Beezer Show, Miriam and now everyday Miriam. We're talking about Foodie Beauty. She she can change her name all she wants. She can rebrand all she wants. Actually, I think somebody took her little Foodie B handle on the YouTube, so I don't know if she can go back to Foodie B. But old Foodie Booty's out here rebranding, calling herself Everyday Miriam, trying to suggest that she has changed. She no longer wants to be associated with Foodie Beauty, but really the only thing that's changed about Chantal is her name, okay? Nothing else has changed. She She's still the same person. She's still raging, and she's still a bigot. So yeah, so we're going to talk about her today. In particular, we're going to talk about her raging and trying to defend her right to use the word goblin to describe a Jewish person. And I think just like as a few pieces of context or to preface this whole conversation, because I, I did tweet a little bit about this already today, and I think there were some responses that uh, I think make sense or I understand where they're coming from, and I think it might be helpful to understand where I'm coming from in terms of approaching this video and how I think about girl world at large, um, maybe for lack of a better word, girl world at large uh, and, and the things that I cover on my channel. In particular, there were a couple people that were like, Zach, I wish you would, you know, keep this energy for the, the fellow reaction channels and other people who are doing bigoted things. And I, I just want to be clear, if, if you're being a bigot on any platform anywhere, like, you deserve whatever energy is coming to you. And I also just want to say, like, I only have so many hours in a day. <laughs> I only have so much time. And at the end of the day, when it comes to content that I prioritize for my channel, I am probably above all else, and I've never shied away from this, an Amberlynn and or Foodie Beauty reaction channel, commentary channel, whatever you want to call it. So when I'm very quick to respond to the bigotry that Chantal spews on her platform, it's because I cover Chantal on this channel and have historically covered the bigoted things that she says. Now, there's obviously a lot of fucked up things happening happening in the world, a lot of which includes bigotry in various shapes, forms, and manners. And I wish I had the capacity to use my platform every day to, to cover every single thing that's ever happened. And to some extent, I do try to do that a lot. But unfortunately, like, I, I can't cover every single thing that every bigoted reaction channel does, okay? And, and I'm not denying that it's out there. I, I saw literally you know, tweets of Just Breezin having somebody on, on her live stream that was using an avatar that had blackface in it. And even today, we will talk about FFG and, and her contributions to the world of bigotry because it relates to what's going on with Chantal. So I know it's out there. <laughs> I just... I if, if I spent every waking second covering this stuff, that's literally all I would do. And I, I've purposely, intentionally chosen not to be a reaction channel to other reaction channels because it doesn't serve my, my purpose. Uh, I literally just got done talking about how I'm not a Yo Mama reaction channel and that a lot of people in, in this community would realize that their audiences don't love when reaction channels are coming for each other. And I also don't watch reaction channels because, like, I don't need to watch Chantal or Amberlynn's content more than once, so it doesn't serve me to do that. I mean, there's a plethora of reasons, and I think most people know that I, I, I just, I don't have the capacity to do all of that. But I do think 
it's still important to talk about, and I, I certainly encourage y'all to be critical consumers of all of the content you watch, including that of reaction channels. And certainly I do think a lot of reaction channels have the capacity to be hypocritical when calling out Chantal for bigotry and engaging in it on their own time. I also want to say as we get ready to discuss this that I have also moved past a place where I think Chantal has any desire to change or make changes to the language she uses or the way that she talks about minoritized and marginalized communities. But what I do hope you'll take from this video is the opportunity for you to learn in case there's something that comes up that you don't know about. Uh, you know, oftentimes when I talk about very serious subjects like bigotry on my channel, I get accused of virtue signaling, I get accused of like sitting on a moral high ground, and I honestly truly don't personally feel that way. I think oftentimes that is used as a, a, a way to discredit <laughs> the things that are are bad that are being done, right? Like, it takes the conversation away from from the bigotry that's being discussed and makes it about whether or not my intentions are pure and true for covering it on my channel. But what I really want to emphasize is that, and, and you'll see this as we talk about it today, but both Chantal, FFG, and probably a number of people in this community could could move past all of these things if they would just like learn to take the L, learn something from their mistakes and move on. And certainly when it comes to Chantal, we've seen that she refuses time and time again to make any kind of changes. I mean, this is not the first time we've talked about Chantal using anti-Semitic language. And we also know that she regularly, regularly defends her right to, well, what she perceives as her right to use the R slur when talking about people, even though it's very offensive to the disabled community. So I just hope y'all will consider taking something um, and, and changing the way that you approach life. Maybe, maybe you didn't know some of these things were problematic. And or also like changing the way that you engage with people and talk to people uh, when it comes to these subjects yourself. Does that sound like a good place to get started today? I'm sorry for that. I just, it was weighing on my mind because like, you know, I think we can't get caught up in like all of the things, like when, when you address one thing, it feels like you have to be able to address every single issue that's happening in the world right now. And I think that's a common tactic that is used to like make you feel like maybe I should just say nothing. And I certainly don't want to also just say nothing when Chantal is trying to defend her right to be anti-Semitic. So let's just get to it then, shall we? Okay, it all started with a community tab post from Chantal. Of course, that's where, <laughs> that's where all the raging usually starts. So here's this post from old Everyday Miriam, okay? You know why the opinions of certain people on this platform don't matter? Because it's ridiculous that I got raked through the coals for the whole coal, never meant to be racist, as coal is the opposite of gold, but anyway, incident. But now members of Ghoul World can openly change our religious names to Mary Ham and Salad when they know Ham is Haram for Muslims and many Muslims would be offended, not just me. You're insulting an entire re religion, but hey, you're the ones looking ignorant and Islamophobic. Goblin is a mythical creature, and the mention of anything anti-Semitic about the word doesn't even come up on Wikipedia. Has nothing to do with religion. Oh, but since the Ogress likes to make calendars with the same three pictures of BBJ, here's a picture of Julia and Akefia. So, <laughs> lots to unpack there. Um, both of these being great examples of Chantal refusing to, uh, you know, learn from when people have told her the things she said were racist or problematic, anti-Semitic. So famously, if you don't know what the coal thing is referring to, once upon a time, Chantal used to refer to a black content creator named Charlie Gold as Charlie Cole. Many people pointed out that referring to her as Cole was racist, and, and lots of people actually provided many resources to Chantal at the time that cited ways that the word Cole or like the description of Cole has been used to racistly describe black people. Similarly, when it comes to the word goblin, time and time again, Chantal has been educated, 
People have shared resources with her and told her and explained why Goblin has historically been used by the oppressors of Jewish people to describe them in a anti-Semitic way. Those things considered very frustrating. What's also frustrating is that Chantal really is under the belief that two wrongs make a, make a right, or at least that's the way that it seemingly usually goes for her, because frequently when Chantal feels pressed by, by something, she thinks that whatever that thing is, whatever that bad thing is, it makes it okay for her to do that same exact thing to the person who did it to her. So she's done this before when people called her fat. She loves to come back and call other people fat all the time. And now here she's doing it with this like claim of like, you're calling me these Islamophobic names, these offensive names. So why shouldn't I be able to be anti-Semitic towards you? And on that note, I definitely actually agree with her. Now, please know that there's nuance to this, right? Like, just because I'm agreeing with Chantal on a thing doesn't mean that I think that she's correct for using the, the use of Goblin in this way. But I do think it's reasonable, and I've actually seen discourse on Twitter of people um, who are Muslim saying, like, this is offensive, that, that the way that they are changing the names of Sala and Chantal to be Salad and Mary Ham are offensive. I, I do think that she has a point there, and I think FFG would be best off to just stop doing it. And I know for a fact, at least specifically when it comes to Salad, because it's been going on for a long time, that FFG has been told that it's offensive and has continued to use that language. And I also want to be clear that this is not a new thought or belief from me because I have even agreed with Chantal in the past that it is common for people with non-Western names to have their names fucked up and mispronounced and it is a microaggression towards those people. So similarly, I think that FFG should finally take some time to learn fr from this and be the better person and not be on Chantal's level and stop using that language. There are plenty of things that you can say about Chantal without giving her this level of like ammunition to say that you're being Islamophobic towards her. And regardless of how you feel about Chantal or FFG, this kind of language is not appropriate just because you dislike somebody and you don't don't care for them. Because what that's saying to people who are Jewish or who are Muslim is that you would be okay with that language being used towards them as well. In addition to that post, Chantal also made a post about the genocide that's happening in Palestine. I'm not gonna read through the entire post because it doesn't actually contain her being anti-Semitic. Um, she does, as we'll get to when we get to the actual live stream she did, she does use what's happening in Palestine as a way, in my opinion, to deflect from from her being anti-Semitic, or at least using this anti-Semitic language, which is frustrating as somebody who does care about the genocide that's happening to Palestinians. I, I wish she would not bring it up in this case. We certainly do need to be talking about it, but when she uses it as a way to deflect from her own bad behavior, it really feels like like she's not taking it all that seriously. That's just my opinion. You may agree or disagree with that. So somewhere in between those two posts and when Chantal did this like live stream where she was raging, uh, Yo Mama made a community tab post about Chantal. You remember Yo Mama from last week when Chantal sat on a live stream for three hours reacting to his live stream where he was shitting on reaction channels, which is his prerogative, but it was just, it was essentially just Chantal playing his live stream on her own live stream. You remember him? Well, he has some thoughts, and he's correct about his thoughts, but he has some thoughts about Chantal using this language, and so he says, Foodie, stop calling people of the Jewish religion goblins. WTF, I was told at a very young age it was offensive to a group of people. Why can't you get the hint and move on? People need to admit to be wrong and move on. It's not a sign of weakness to say sorry. And I think that that is like a very fair statement from him to her. Now the issue I take with this is that Yo Mama hasn't really done any of his research <laughs> over time because if he thinks this is the first time that Chantal has used this language, 
um, or just in general any kind of bigoted language, then he's he's foolish. I don't know. Maybe maybe he was aware of it before and still decided to like simp her or whatever. That was his words, not mine. I think he referred to himself as a simp of Chantal. Uh, but you know, if if he did all of that, knowing that that's his prerogative, and if he had done some of that research to know that she's said these things before, he would know that she she doesn't feel sorry about it and she's not gonna apologize and she does it doesn't think that she's in the wrong. So all of that <laughs> leads to um, Chantal doing a live stream, yelling about why she thinks she deserves to be able to continue on using the word goblin to specifically describe Jewish people. And in particular, the Jewish person in question is FFG. One thing I will note about this stream is that originally, old, intelligent Chantal Marie titled the stream, Let's Educate. <laughs> which is just so funny because she did end up changing the title to Let's Educate the Ignorant, which is just so, just so funny. Not that like typos and stuff don't happen, but it's just like, girl, you want to come out here and call people ignorant. You might want to avoid having typos in the title of your live stream. And so anyways, throughout the stream, she goes on and on and on about how Yo Mama is uneducated and how she'll never watch him again. Okay, I seem pissed off. I'm a little pissed off because people are spreading false information about me. Somebody who's completely obviously uneducated and whom I'll never watch again in my life, yo mama. Um, now I know why they call him slow mama, no offense, but why post that picture, derogatory picture of me in a wig and then say that I'm anti-Semitic? Like, get a life. <laughs> like, you never come for FFG for being Islamophobic. But my excuse, I don't, I don't even care. I don't care what slow mama, I don't care what any of these stupid effing gore world reactors, I don't give a shit what any of them say or any of them think anymore. I don't care. Like, if you haven't noticed. Like, I don't care what their perception of me is. All they do is try to, you know... That's just so crazy because, girl, you were literally, like I already said, sitting there for three hours watching his stream, talking about how amazing and wonderful he is. And this is what's so wild to me is like the second he's no longer of use to you because he's providing you really thoughtful critique and honest critique and and true critique, and you're suddenly, no, fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck everything I ever said about him. I'm never watching him again. That That's... That's what you do, Chantal. <laughs> Once people, you know, are no longer useful for you, you, you toss them to the side. She also informs us she's going to educate us about the word goblin. Goblin, let me educate you, okay? Before the sack of cottage, what do I call her? The sack of crap claimed anti-Semitism. Number one, she says I'm not Muslim. She's not Jewish. She uses that when she needs to. Just like, there's no, like, do you know what I mean? She's full of shit. Anyways, maybe if she is whatever, the point is she uses this card to, to gain more, like she uses BBJ to get sympathy and manipulate her audience. And to start off that conversation by saying part of your education for us is denying that FFG is actually Jewish is actually really fucking wild. Like, why and how did you think that that was going to help your case, like help people believe you weren't anti-Semitic. She also at one point says that FFG is weaponizing her religion against Chantal, as though Chantal hasn't also rightfully called out FFG for her own Islamophobia. And like I already said, two wrongs certainly don't make a right. Like, I think they both need to absolutely change the way that they talk about each other. I guess the reason it's interesting to me is that in, in the same argument, like, if you, if you want to say that FFG is weaponizing her religion because she's calling you out for being anti-Semitic, I would say that you choosing to only bring up that she's being Islamophobic is when you're defending your right to be anti-Semitic is also weaponizing your religion. And I also want to say with that being said, I'm pretty sure, I feel fairly confident, although I couldn't find exact receipts. If you didn't know, Chantal recently deleted a whole bunch of videos and stuff off of her channel. Everything essentially that predates her wearing 
wearing a hijab. And so I, I can't be for certain for this, but I recall in my in my memory that the the use of Chantal using that word to describe FFG predates her being a Muslim. And in general, the only time that Chantal in particular seems to care about a particular ism or phobia is when it comes to her, when it's directed specifically at her. I mean, we've seen this with her talking about ableism. Uh, we've seen that because, you know, like she, she loves to talk about how I was ableist one time and how people are ableist towards her and Amber Lynn, but then she's gone on full-on rants about, about Amber Lynn using a scooter at the grocery store, and she's also continuously defended her use of the R slur towards the disabled community. And that also goes for fat phobia. Like, she loves to call people fat phobic, but is one of the first people to be out there telling somebody that they look fat. And based on that track record, I don't know how you could say that Chantal isn't also weaponizing aspects of her identity in this situation. But like I said, uh, both parties involved certainly need to change the way that they talk about the other. It's just like completely unnecessary offensive and you know if FFG wants to say things about Chantal lord knows there's plenty of negative things that you can say about Chantal without resorting to using that language and vice versa probably I'm not listen I'm not I I can say for a fact that there are things that you can say about Chantal without using that language because I do that all the time but I imagine there are things that Chantal could say about FFG without calling her a goblin like there are so many things and and this is, for some reason, the, the sword she wants to fall on, the hill she wants to die on, when, like, you could literally find probably just about anything else without being anti-Semitic. One point that Chantal tries to make is that the, the concept of the mythical creature that is a goblin predates any kind of anti-Semitism. Goblin as a mythical creature predates any type of anti-Semitic talk whatsoever. And I really am confused about what her what her argument is here because yeah, for sure, I'm sure that the the concept of a mythical creature called a goblin existed before people were anti-Semitic. But the reason that's the case is because people who were anti-Semitic took this creature and used it to describe Jewish people in a negative way. So yes, it did have to exist before that because they co-opted it and made it a negative thing for Jewish people. And there are like lots of examples of this in, in terms of, you know, all the various isms that exist in the world. So I don't understand why she thinks this is some kind of like slam dunk argument on her end, because it's not. And she has a, a brief moment of clarity where I thought she was onto something because she notes that she just never knew that this was a thing. So I felt like she's like acknowledging like, oh my gosh, I just didn't know that that this was a thing until somebody brought it up. I never knew that. I never knew anything about it. And then you'll say, oh, well, now you know, so don't use it. Screw her. She looks like a goblin. I'm referring to FFG as looking like the short, ugly, monstrous, mythical creature. Nothing else. Creatures who, they were like, um, what do they call them? Fake characters? Basically, they were made in like, I think the first um, talk about goblins as mythical creatures was like in the 14th century, which predates any mention of it being anything anti-Semitic. And I think I'm hardly the first person to say this, and probably not the last, but like, that's the whole thing. Like, if Chantal would have said that particular excuse and stuck with it the first time she got called out for this, then we 100% could have stopped there. <laughs> we could have stopped there and she, she could have just moved on. And you know, like there would probably be a handful of people that would still hold on to it. But like at some point you can't keep talking about it if she apologizes and move on and she just refuses to do that. And similarly, again, just because I want to keep it 100, I know lots of people have also called FFG out for the things that she's 
called Chantal as well, and she could be in the same exact boat if she'd just apologize and move on. They're, they're birds of a fucking feather. And then there are just so many times that Chantal insists on citing Wikipedia as, as the thing that is her defense for why it's okay for her to use the word goblin, because apparently nowhere on Wikipedia does it suggest that goblin is an anti-Semitic term. If you look up the Wikipedia page, which is like educational, she, she looks like the goblin from Labyrinth. That's exactly what I meant. It is educational info, Wikipedia. People refer to Wikipedia for everything else. You know, it has a very, um, you know, this Wikipedia page is reliable. It has all the sources. So go, go research it yourself. It's ridiculous. And then you could like look up the term, look up any other racial slur. And I'm sure that Wikipedia page will be all about it. Like I'm saying they, they talk about the entirety of what a goblin is on Wikipedia. They're pretty thorough. It's an online encyclopedia and they cite sources. Otherwise it gets edited usually or taken down sometimes for false information. There's nowhere, nowhere in the etymology of the word. If you go back to the etymology, for those of you who are dumb, it's like the original source of the term. It was not created as an anti-Semitic term. So hold on to that because we're going to come back to it because, spoiler alert, there are places on Wikipedia where it says that this term is anti-Semitic. At one point, she also rants about how FFG is Islamophobic again and also racist towards Arab men. She's calling him hairy and everything else, like insinuating that Arabs are hairy. Like I, like, I know he had his shirt off, but still, like, you know what I mean? You could say that. You could say, oh, well, you're making fun of Arabs. And I don't want to beat a dead horse. I do think it's fair that FFG gets some criticism for those things. I've seen a large number of Muslim people in, in the girl world community who have taken issue with it. And I think it's important to listen to those people as well. I do just want to point out some of Chantal's own hypocrisy when it comes to these things. Specifically, one of the things that she was mad at FFG for was calling Salah Harry. But uh, that is specifically something that Chantal called Sala herself when he got caught cheating on her. Fuck, you see this finger? Shove it up your fucking hairy ass. And when it comes to being racist towards Arab men, she fully also once upon a time called Nader, her ex, a camel. And she also has famously, you know the way that she's upset about the way that people change around Salah's name and call it different things? She has famously spent a lot of time calling Nader several different names that are a play on, on his name and how it's pronounced, um, as noted in this tweet by Mo Translates. And you know, while we're at it, because uh, several people did include me in, in this particular screenshot. I got it from the Hater Tater Twitter account, uh, but there is a tweet also from FFG calling another Jewish person a goblin too. And again, none of this, uh, what I hope you can take from this nuance is that like none of this language is acceptable. None of it is acceptable and they all should change what they're doing. I think that's like what's just so frustrating about it all. It's like, we literally don't have to do any of this and yet here you all are, okay? Neither, neither of these parties are right. She also talks about how she refuses to apologize for something she didn't intend to do. It's too dumb to apologize, it's too dumb. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm not apologizing for something I didn't do, I don't care. Like you're gonna apologize for something you didn't consciously like know about? Like, that's so stupid. No, I don't care. People can be snowflakes. People can be offended. You can cancel me. You can unfollow me. I never care. I don't care. I don't even look at how many subscribers I have. I don't give a shit. I'm going to live my life. Um, that's my opinion. It's not anti-Semitic for me. It's a mythical creature. And too bad. And that's the thing. Sometimes we hurt people when we don't intend to do it. Uh, a, a very basic example. I walk a lot of places in Chicago. I have accidentally in the past bumped into somebody on the sidewalk while I was walking through the streets of Chicago. I didn't intend to bump into somebody. I didn't intend to potentially hurt them or uh, knock something out of their hands when I bumped into them or anything like that. 
And you know what I always do is apologize because you know what? You don't have to intend to hurt somebody to apologize to them. In fact, probably the best time to apologize to somebody is when you didn't intentionally do something to hurt them. And let's also be honest that Chantal probably wouldn't apologize if she did intentionally hurt somebody. Chantal's not trying to apologize to anybody for any reason. And then she also makes the claim that when you Google goblin and anti-Semitism, nothing comes up. I don't know, I had to like really just Google goblin anti-semitism there's nowhere about it there's nowhere and yes there is connotations of it but that's not how i used it and i'm not apologizing for it so too bad which is funny because if you google those two words together plenty comes up actually and that's about where i i stopped in terms of things that i'm gonna cover from the live stream she live streamed for an hour and a half and from what i can tell a lot of it, or at least at the point that I stopped watching, she was repeating herself a lot, which is something she famously does in her live streams. So it's like, we're good. I've got enough to talk about here. I mean, I'm just looking at the time and I've spent about 30 minutes filming this so far. So like, clearly there is plenty to talk about, but that doesn't stop us from talking about her follow-up community tab post that was about children's books. In this post, she says, so this award-winning children's author, David Melling, writes books for kids about goblins. Should he be canceled? No. Why? Because he is writing about mythical creatures. So miss me with the anti-Semitic BS. A goblin is not necessarily about Jews. I am only anti-Zionist, not anti-Semitic. When I call you know who that, it is because of her monstrous nature. The fact that goblin stories are made for children proves my point. I'm sure all of his readers, surely some are Jewish. But you know who also knows she is offending Muslims by saying things like Hamadan during the holy month and no one says anything about it? Yep, FFG. Now moving on, never to watch a single thing from Ghoul World, period. She will. By the way, Breezen, you gonna address that you had blackface on your panel? Of course not. Um, okay, <laughs> so... So there's, there's plenty to be discussed here as well. Um, you know, I think the important part that she's missing here is the context, right? A story that is simply about goblins is not necessarily anti-Semitic. Calling a Jewish person a goblin is, you know, like, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand why that's so hard for her to, to separate. Like, yes, goblins exist in a lot of, like, fantasy literature, in the world, fantasy movies, etc. Oftentimes, they don't have anything to do with Jewish people. But certainly, when you use that word to describe a Jewish person, it does. And yeah, like I said, people absolutely should hold FFG accountable. People absolutely should hold Breezen accountable. Her pointing out that these other creators are doing fucked up shit doesn't make her shit any less fucked up. Y'all are all fucked up. Like, stop. So anyways, since we're talking about Wikipedia, we're talking about Google searches, we're talking about uh, children's books, Let's, let's talk about it. First, let's start with those Google searches, okay? You search, you Google search goblin and anti-Semitism, you know what comes up? Several, several news articles about the anti-Semitism and the way that J.K. Rowling portrays goblins in her series, her young adult children's series, Harry Potter. On top of that, if you go to the Wikipedia page for the word goblin, as Chantal references and cites several, several times, you can go down to a section about goblins being featured in modern fiction. And in particular, there is a part of that that talks about Harry Potter. And if you click on Harry Potter in that, that section of it, it'll take you to the Harry Potter Wikipedia page. You can scroll all the way down to a section called Thematic Critique, where they provide a lot of critique about the problematic things that J.K. Rowling wrote into the Harry Potter series. But in particular, you can read this section that says, the goblins of the world of Harry Potter have also received criticism for following anti-Semitic caricatures, particularly for their grotesque hook-nosed portrayal in the films, an appearance associated with Jewish stereotypes. 
So there you go, Chantal. If you if you would bother to do an ounce of research that required on clicking on more than one Wikipedia article, maybe, maybe you could learn something. But honestly, it's so on brand for Miss Chantal Marie to sit over here and read one Wikipedia page and then consider herself the expert on educating people on what is and is not anti-Semitic. And I'd like to be as generous as possible with all the people involved, um, but you know, with Chantal in particular, it's very clear she knows what she's doing at this point. She, she could have made decisions to stop using this language a long time ago. This is not even the first time that we've had this conversation when it comes to Chantal. So I don't really anticipate that there's, there's any hope that she's going to learn from this. There's not really any chance of educating somebody like Chantal in this situation who's so willfully ignorant about the situation. But I hope uh, y'all watching were able to take something from this. And, you know, I will continue covering Chantal's bigotry to the point that I feel comfortable and it's applicable. Uh, you know, sometimes I feel like a lot of it's beating a dead horse, uh, but I was particularly just like fed up with this one situation right here. At some point, there's only going to be so many ways that I can reiterate to you all that Chantal is a bigot, <laughs> but she's a bigot. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people in her orbit who are also bigots. So here we are. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a like, hit share, leave me a comment. I said that all in the wrong order. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!